Hi all and welcome back to today's video. We're going to show you today how to change a blade on a steel hedge cutter. So we've got two options here today. Uh, I'm just going to be showing you the differences though between the handheld and the long reach. We're going to change the long reach one right now, but they're basically both pretty much the same process. So you can just follow this video and you can do either or. Uh, so first of all, you'll just, all you'll need tools wise is two of these spanners. Make sure one's got the still bit on. It doesn't need to be still branded. Uh, just make sure it's got the, the torques for undoing the, the nuts. Uh, I've undone these ones already, but I just want to show you which nuts you need to undo. So usually on still hedge cutters, you'll just have six nuts, as you can see here. Uh, you just undo them. Don't worry about this one. That's just the fill hole for your um, lubrication. So you just undo these six and then pop the top off. Now for the video, I've already undone these six on this one. I'm just going to pop the top off to show you what it looks like underneath. Uh, you might have to pry underneath it with a screwdriver. You can see we've got a lot of excess lubrication in there. We'll scrape that off before we put the top back on. Uh, and the same with the inside, we'll get a scrape out and we'll put some new lube in. So once you've got to this point, there's always one other nut that holds the blade unit in. And all you need to do is undo that. I'll just undo that now uh, and then I'll cut, cut back to you in a second on the video. But there's two types of blades that still do on the end. As you can see, this one uh, it just has a pin that sticks out a little bit and slots into this hole. So here, and then just this moves around and that's what moves one blade and the other one static. Uh, but some actually have this loop attached to them. So on this bigger model and like the HS45, they have the loop that then goes onto the cog. Uh, but these don't, these, these just go straight onto here. Uh, but I'll undo this and then I'll get back to you in a second. So I've undone this screw and, and taken the little spacer out here. Now you'll notice with the long reach, you will also have to undo this first, not along uh, the assembly, but not all the like that. Usually it's just this one nut here. So what we'll do now is you just literally slide this off to the side with the cog, uh, and then you can take your blades out and that's them. There's your uh, blades. So still very kindly usually make all of the nuts the same size. And so it's this one that usually comes with the machine, which is quite handy because of that like, you can undo pretty much everything across the still machines with this one uh, torque bit, which is very useful. So now we've removed the old blade, we're going to put the new one in and we're just going to make sure we put it back in the same way as we took the old one out. So we knew the, the shorter side was on the bottom for the pin uh, and it's just, it's just a matter of just pressing it in there uh, and then reassembling it, re-putting this top screw in, putting the second one in and then uh, putting the case back on. But I'll just run you through that now. I'll stick this back on and then we'll be back on the camera. Now I'll just pop those nuts back in. Uh, and while I remember, it's very important to tighten these to the correct torque because if you over tighten them, you'll put excess friction on the blades moving and obviously you're going to start causing issues of wear all over. And then if you don't tighten them enough, of course, they're going to fall out. So it's important you get these correct and torque them properly. While we're in here, we're just going to give this a clean out with a screwdriver, scraping out all the old crappy lubrication and just wiping it off on a towel. We'll put some new in there afterwards to make sure it's all good and running well. Uh, all the any particles tend to collect around the edges, so they're the bits you want to prioritize. Don't need to go mad; doesn't need to be perfect. Uh, just get the old stuff out, put some new stuff in. Same with the lid; give that a scrape off, a clean off, and then put the lid on. We'll tighten it up, and then we'll grease it afterwards. And if you're unsure on greasing these hedge cutters and the handheld hedge cutters, we've got some videos on the channel, so just check those out, and you'll uh, you should be all right. But just, it's just important to make sure that you use your correct lubrication because there's different types for different machines. But this is obviously for hedge cutters because it's got a picture of a hedge cutter. And one last thing before I go, before you use these new blades, I always recommend spraying some WD-40 or similar um, along the blades uh, just to help get that lubrication inside of there. You know, you don't want to be breaking brand new equipment and it never hurts. Uh, getting rid of some of that friction that's in there. So I'm going to clean this off, put the top back on, screws in, re-grease it, and then we're ready to go. Um, and if you want to know how to grease it, we have got some other videos on the channel greasing both uh, handheld and long-reach hedge cutters. 
So thanks for watching guys. Please like, comment, subscribe and let us know if you'd like any more of these videos in the future.